Hi everyone, so I'm here to do my June favorites. Is that even real? I want to show you guys what I have been absolutely loving this past month and I have some really good items to show you and everything I feel like is new to show you guys. I have a few kind of like intimate items and then the rest is beauty because that's why we're here. I'm going to first start off with something really random because it's just... I've been absolutely obsessed with these and they are more of an intimate item but I had to let you guys know because I know a lot of you guys out there are struggling with the same things I'm struggling with clothing wise. Um, I talk about it all the time. I have a bigger chest than usual and um, it's so hard for me to find bralettes that actually fit my chest. So if you guys don't know what bralettes are, they're kind of just like these little lacy dainty like bras that you can wear under summer dresses, sundresses, um, racer backs, tank tops, loose flowing tops. Just when you don't want to wear a full out lined bra. Um, it's so hard to find them for bustier girls and you know it's they're usually just made for more of like the smaller chested girls but um, for reference, I am a 34 Double D in Victoria's Secret bras, and I found these, which look like this. But this is what a bralette pretty much is. It's a lacy, no padding whatsoever, very light um, lining all around, and it has adjustable straps, which is great. And the best thing is that it's only $12.99 at Target. You can find them for such a good deal, and if you have... The same problem I'm having with bralettes, go to Target right now, because the brand Exhilaration... Um, carries these little bralettes that fit perfectly for bigger chested girls and you know they they are kind of see-through so um, you can't just like wear them alone unless you have a little like like um, nipple covers if you want to wear it alone but I wear them under like I said sundresses and whatnot that aren't really form-fitting that are more loose and they're just perfect. They, my, I, I feel so free in it because when I'm in a bra, it's it's kind of it's it's suffocating. It's like like boob jail when you're wearing a bra. Like I'm serious. So um, these are perfect and lightweight for summertime. I've already worn my black one probably four or five times. I absolutely love that one. And I'm actually going to get another black one because I, I wear it so often. Um, but I do have it in this beautiful blush color, as you can see. Oh, and if you guys are curious, I had to get the X-Large. I know it's it's like, what? You're an X-Large? And I know, I, I actually, I don't really care. Um, whatever, it's an X-Large, big deal. You know, that's how my body is. I, I tried on the large, with the, which the large fits around... Um, my bust, like underneath my bust, but my actual boobs were popping, like spilling over. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to suck it up and go a size up with the extra large and these fit perfect. And I'm not spilling out or anything. And these are beautiful because look, the edges here are a beautiful kind of like scalloped edge. So if you have a really low cut shirt or if you have a, like a a scoop neck shirt or a tank top if this peeks out a little bit or even if you have a v-neck oh my gosh it looks so cute with this little bit of scalloped lace pe peeking out of it so again I love these so $12.99 I know I'm rambling about like these bralettes but they I've been searching for a bralette for my size for so long and I hope this is going to help some of you guys. I also have bright neon colored ones, but those I don't have here because I left them at Craig's. Um, but the last color that I got that I do have here, I'm sorry, I tried it on earlier, so it's kind of like undone. Let me put it back together so it doesn't look too sloppy. But this is a beautiful baby blue one. Oh, I love it. So cute. Again, perfect for summertime. So I'm going to stop rambling about these bralettes. I'm just really obsessed with them right now because I live in them currently. Now, uh, where should I start? Okay, so I'm actually going to start with lips because I only have one lip product here. Um, this is the Buxom, what are these called? The Buxom, I think it's just the lip cream, the plumping lip cream, and it looks like this. This specific color that I've been obsessed with is called Mudslide, and look how beautiful this color is. I actually don't have any lip gloss on, so I'm going to apply it for you right now. I did it on purpose. But this color, I do have a lip liner on. Oh my gosh. 
and these are plumping so you have that sort of tingly feeling but I'll do a swatch on my hand too so you guys can see it's a beautiful just neutral pink color they're really smooth and they wear really pretty again like a perfect natural everyday pink color oh my gosh my lips are like tingling I really don't need the plumping in the lip gloss I just love how they feel and I love the color of it so this one is mudslide and I absolutely adore this color Moving on, I'm going to go to eyes, because I only have a few eye things, and they're actually all palettes. So, the first thing I want to show you here is my Anastasia, Anastasia Brow Pro Palette. I am obsessed with this palette. I absolutely love it. I got it at the makeup show, if you guys watched that video. And this has all of the Anastasia um, brow powder shades in here and it's beautiful I just love looking at it but I've been using it to fill my brows for more of a softer look because it's summertime I'm trying to go for more of that summery soft look but look isn't that gorgeous oh, I love this so the color I actually use is the dark brown right here right here in the middle and what's cool about this is that you can replace um, the pans once you run out I believe you can oh my gosh my lighting is Oh my gosh, what happened to my lighting? This is craziness. I need to get new lighting. Um, I'm sorry that this is going in and out. Anastasia Brow Powder. It's amazing. It's really great. And it actually wears really well for a brow powder. Um, so I love it. And yeah, you don't have to get the whole palette like I have here. You can buy the pots individually, whatever color you end up being. But love this. You guys know I'm obsessed with the Anastasia Brow Pomade. I still love it, but I feel like for the summertime, something lighter like the powder is just perfect. Next things I have are two more palettes, and they're eyeshadow palettes. So I'm going to talk about this one because it's my absolute favorite right now. I've been wearing it so, so much all month, and it's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I got this at, um... Did I say eye mats earlier? I'm at the makeup show. The New York makeup show is where I got the um, brow palette and I also picked up this Kat Von D palette <gasps> guys I'm sure you guys have seen this it's an all matte eyeshadow palette with gorgeous neutral colors from warm shades to cool shades and it's gonna be perfect for anyone and everyone I absolutely love it I love how it has a big big mirror up here I'm not gonna blind you with it but look how beautiful this is I have been wearing this so much and it's so versatile you can do a very smoky look or a natural look and it's just worth the money I love the consistency I love the texture of the eyeshadows I don't get too much fallout at all and they're just oh, amazing I love it I can't even like say enough about it so yeah Kat Von D shade light eye need it in your life um, this is one that's totally worth it Next eyeshadow palette I want to show you guys, um, I got on Sephora.com. I don't think I showed you this in a haul because I have so much stuff that I haven't hauled. I've just been kind of accumulating it. But I really do love this shadow palette. But I got to say, it's not like a must-have like this one is, like the Kat Von D one. I feel like everyone and their mother needs it. But this one is by Makeup Forever, and this is their... Um, artist shadow palette and this is the neutral one they came out with these um, I believe in the springtime not too long ago and there is a bright colored one and this one's the neutral one so the only reason I don't think this is a must-have is because it's all shimmery satin shades you don't have the matte shades which I think I, I feel like when you're doing an eyeshadow look you have to at least have one matte eyeshadow at least minimum but look how gorgeous this is it's so so beautiful I mean the black is actually pretty matte some of these might be matte but I feel like a lot of them look pretty satin um, I love this middle shade here which I will swatch for you look how beautiful look how that light picks it up it's a gorgeous metallic shade oh my gosh I love it look at that it's beautiful right on the lid it's just amazing and um, that specific eyeshadow right in the middle there is number D562. Um, they don't have names, they just have numbers, unfortunately, but it, you can buy it singly if you want to, so that's D562, and it's gorgeous. Look how beautiful. But yeah, they're all really pretty. I'll swatch this one for you, too. There's that one. Um, let's see what this one is. 
Yeah, see, this, actually, this could probably be a matte. There's a few matte shades, but I don't know. Just in my opinion, I don't think it's an absolute must-have. They are amazing quality, though. If you've never tried the Makeup Forever eyeshadows, you need to try them. And honestly, it is a good deal when you get it in this palette. This palette is, I think, $49. I'll put the price right here. I'm not sure exactly how much this palette is, but it's really worth it to try out nine, you know, Makeup Forever eyeshadows. And, you know, someone like me, I don't need a full-size eyeshadow because these are smaller than the actual um, Makeup Single, Makeup Forever Single Shadows. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But, yeah, these eyeshadows are gorgeous. They're beautiful, and I think it's a beautiful palette. I've been loving it, but I don't think it's an absolute must have. That's just my opinion. Um, you guys can take it for what it is. Um, I think that's it for eyes. Um, I only have a few more things and they're all face products because I've been really changing up what I'm using on my face for the summertime, which, you know, happens to everyone. The first thing I want to show you guys here is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I feel like everyone has been talking about this lately, but you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, I wore this last year, and this was in my summer months, I'm not sure exactly which months, but definitely in the summertime, this was in my favorites, and I have used so, so much of it already, and this color is in tan because I have gotten pretty tan over the past few weeks, and... I love it. It has your SPF of 50 in it, and it's, um, it's a hydrating CC cream, so if you're dry, it works for you. I'm combination oily, and it still works for me. I love the coverage that it gives and the finish. It's a very nice, natural finish, and it's just, it has really good ingredients in it for your skin, and it has your SPF. So I'm obsessed with the It Cosmetics CC cream, and I've always been obsessed with them. Okay, so that's what I've been wearing lately as my base, and I'm actually wearing it today. If you guys are curious, I am wearing this and something else over it, which I will show you. Um, okay, I'll just show you this because I actually topped it off with this powder. Now, you don't have to do a powder over it. I know a lot of people don't like to do powder for summertime. For me, personally, I'm combination oily, so I do like to have a little bit of a powder, and I've been in love with the combination of this It Cosmetics CC Cream and Tan, and this Becca Perfect Skin Mineral Powder Foundation in Sand. I love the combination together. That is what's on my face today, and I'm just obsessed with it. So it looks like this. Becca's packaging is very similar for all of their compacts, but the powder looks just like a normal powder. You have a mirror on the top, and that's the powder here. It looks very light, I know, but I kind of like it because the CC cream right now is a little too dark for me, but this kind of evens me out perfectly. But the texture of this powder is just so smooth, and it gives you really, really nice coverage. Now, for powders, I can never really get a full coverage depending on the brand, but this Becca one is a like medium coverage, like a solid medium coverage powder foundation that's buildable so smooth very lightweight I don't even know if you guys can see it it's right there I just put the little swatch on my hand but it just smoothens out the face and it kind of absorbs all the shine really fast and I, I don't know I, I just am obsessed with this powder right now so it comes in a little pouch if you do end up trying it out or getting it if you're looking for a new powder try this one especially for combo oily skin um, girls out there it's awesome. I love it. You can wear it alone because it is a powder foundation, but I always use it to set any kind of liquid I'm wearing. That's just how I am, but you could wear it alone. Just saying. Okay, so the last face things, last two items I'm going to show you are more color items for the face. This first one here is actually a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Sunny by Nature. I actually think... I think this one's permanent. I'm not too sure. It is a beautiful bronzy color that is gorgeous on the cheeks. It's not a contour color. It's a bronzy color. So it's perfect just to give that almost J-Lo glow or that coppery cheek. It's so pretty. And I think my girl, Rachel, I think Rachel, I'm pretty sure she's the one that got me stuck on this uh, a couple years ago. But look at that. It's just a really nice 
soft bronze color. I wonder if you guys can see that right there. Yeah. So you can wear it as a blush. I wear it more as like an all over bronzer, but it's a beautiful just glow on the cheek and I absolutely love it. There's no sparkle in it or shimmer. It's a beautiful just demi matte satin finish that gives you more of that simple natural glow. I love it. Sunny by Nature. And again, I don't know if this is permanent or not. I feel like, for some reason, I feel like it, ugh, I don't think it is permanent. But I'm sorry to do that to you guys. If I find another dupe for it, I will definitely let you guys know in another video. But Sunny by Nature is a beautiful color. I have it on my cheeks today. If you guys are curious, I, I have so many things on my cheeks right now. But um, I am wearing this today. The last thing I'm going to show you is this right here. And it's another kind of like bronzing, blushing, highlighting powder. It's by It Cosmetics. I'm just in love with them. Um, at work, we had an event for It Cosmetics, and I've just, I love the brand. You guys know, I've used so many products from this brand, and I'm just obsessed. So, um, I love this palette. This is the CC Plus Radiance Palette, and it has your blush, bronzer, and correcting highlight. So, this is what it looks like and you have a color correcting highlight which has little specks of green and purple and yellow a beautiful blush that works for almost every skin tone and a matte bronzer I'm not wearing the highlight so much but I do have the well actually no I'm sorry I'm not wearing this today I'm only wearing the bronzer today <laughs> I'm not wearing these two at all I'm sorry I'm getting my days mixed up and I can't remember when I've used this because I've been using this for quite some time but today I just remembered I changed up my blush for some strange reason, but I love this palette. It's gorgeous. Again, great for so many skin tones, and I'm more of like a medium to tan skin tone right now because it's summertime, but it's I, I love it. So let me know what you guys have been favoriting down below, or if you guys have tried any of these products. Um, I would love to hear what you guys have been using also. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for my favorites. Um, I do want to talk to you guys about something because it's something very exciting that's happening in my life and I feel like I should just share it with you guys but I will be moving to New Jersey with my boyfriend so I've never lived with a significant other before and this is all very new to me and it's happening so fast it literally happened out of nowhere and I'm seriously moving in less than a month so I have to start packing and everything and I'm just trying to keep my cool and not stress out and get crazy but I want to let you guys know that I will be moving in with Craig and if you follow me on my vlog channel you know Craig you've met him and um, I go to Jersey all the time I go every single week so um, I, I um, all my job situation it's all good I have it all set up out there so I am moving to New Jersey and it's going to be so different so you guys will see a different background fairly soon not super soon but um there will be a new background coming and i think i'm going to be doing a lot more of my declutters once i get to new jersey because it's i'm going to be forced to kind of declutter all my stuff anyway so i'm going to put a little pause on the declutter series right now just because i'm since i this came out of nowhere i'm actually moving i didn't think everything like my job and everything would kind of roll through this fast so i'm kind of it just everything's kind of hitting me at once so i am so excited for it and i, I thank you guys for your support and your love and i'm just ah, i'm really excited um and craig's obviously excited but if you want to see my whole moving process my packing my setting up my new makeup room because i am getting a makeup room i told craig i was like i would love 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 to have a makeup room where I can film and be dedicated to just makeup and uh, he said yes so um, I'm going to be kind of decorating that if you guys want to see videos on that let me know I'm totally going to do a room tour video which I'm so excited because it's my first time just like actually decorating myself and I'm not really good at it so we'll see how it goes and I would love suggestions if you guys have it um, but right now uh, the walls we painted it to a very neutral light gray color because we just had to paint it really fast because everything was just kind of rolling in like I said and happening so fast so it is a neutral light gray and I have my white furniture so let me know what you guys think the accent color should be in my room leave the um, comments down below I'd love to hear your suggestions and I'm gonna take your advice because I'm so bad at decorating but yeah if you want to see that whole process of me moving and packing follow my vlog channel because I have daily vlogs 
and um, I'm just excited. It's scary, but I'm so excited and I'm ready and uh, it's a new chapter of my life and I'm so glad to share it with you guys. So I just wanted to put that in there. I'm sorry I'm rambling on too much. I know you guys don't really like my rambles. Well, some of you guys do, but some of you guys don't. But it's not a big deal. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave any other questions or comments below and I'll see you guys in my next video.